pretty sure it's only going to be a matter of time. All right. We're going to march. Move those arms. We're going to get into a little rhythm here. We're going to go one, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Good. You bet. Tap. And tap. And tap. Good. All right, so we're gonna travel this here in a second. So we'll take it forward. One, two, three, tap, back, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap, back, two, three, tap. You decide how big of a step forward you're taking. You wanna go ahead and add a little clap? Right there, good. You got it. All right, we're gonna take it to a knee, right there. If a knee's too much, you can absolutely keep it at the tap. Good. Forward and back. We're gonna switch it up again. We're gonna take it to a very low kick. Kick. And kick. You got it. Excellent. We're going to get forward and back one more time. All right, hold it right here with a march. There we go. Take your feet out wide. Perfect. Give me a wide tap right here. Good. We're going to take our hands, we're going to reach forward and forward, forward and forward, like you're grabbing something and pulling it back. You got it. All right, so we're gonna take our hands and reach overhead to a bit of a diagonal. You got it. Reach forward again for me. All right, we're going to take it back overhead. Reach and reach. And back forward. So we're going to see if we can do two and two. Okay, so go one and two. And we'll reach overhead and overhead and forward and forward. And overhead, and overhead. Keep it going. Forward, overhead, forward again. All right. We're going to cut that down to one set instead. So it's forward, overhead, forward, overhead. You've got it. All right, hold the arms forward here, okay? We're gonna start pulling both of them back right here towards the hips, good. We're gonna pick up our heel, okay? We're gonna do a ham curl, good. You've got it. All right, so in a second, we're gonna pause we're going to be standing on one foot and we're going to tap the right foot up and down, okay? So pause right here. You need to grab the chair you can. We're going to tap and curl. Tap and curl. Good. Good. We're going to do four more. Three, two, one. Let's go to the other side. Again, chairs there if you need it. Curl and tap. Curl and tap. Good. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Go back to curls right here. Alternating sides. You've got it. 
Very good. All right. We're going to have a little change here. Okay, we're going to bring our heels forward. So heels and heels, heels and heels. We're going to bring our arms up so they're straight. We're going to cross out, cross out. Good. Think Frankenstein. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Couple more here like this. All right, we're gonna keep those heels going, but we're gonna drop the arms by the side, and we're gonna see if we have enough coordination to roll the shoulders while we do those heels. Find a rhythm that works for you. Good. See if you can switch them the other direction. Perfect. All right. We're going to march the feet right here, okay? Good. We're going to do a little scissor with the arms. So we're going to tap with one foot up as the arm comes up. Tap with the other side, arm comes up, okay? Right here, up to tempo. Tap and reach. Opposite arm, the opposite leg. You got it. Perfect. Couple more here. All right, one more set. Bring those legs right in center and march right here. All right, bring your feet about hip width apart. We're gonna do some squats here, okay? You need to sit in front of your chair, you can. We're gonna sink back and stand up. Sink back and stand up. Good. You've got it. Sitting in that imaginary chair. Give me two and one. We're gonna come halfway into that squat. Pulse right here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. March it again. Good. We feeling like we're getting warmed up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. <laughs> All right. So we are going to have our first little break here. You can grab a sip of water, and we're going to be grabbing our weights. Okay? Over and under, okay? Cross 
and cross. Good. Look at all this. Give me four. And then count them as a set. Three. Two more sets. One more set. All right, bring those arms by the side, okay? Do you do little shoulder circles. I'm taking mine back right now. Direction doesn't matter because we will switch it up here in a second. All right. All right, take it the other direction. Good. Two more. One more. Good. All right. Bring these feet still for just a second. We're going to be doing bicep curls with a knee. Now, if a knee is too much, it can be curl with a tap instead. So this would be level one, curl and tap. And level two is curl with knee lift, okay? We're going to slow it down a tiny bit off of the tempo so that we can have that balance and not rush the movement. Good. Couple more. We'll do two more sets. One more each knee. Good, bring your feet down. I'm gonna turn to the side for a second. We're gonna be doing a tricep kickback. So I bring my arms, elbows are bent, and hinge forward slightly with those elbows high. You straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Good. Right here. Excellent. Give me four, three, Two and one. Bring it center. All right, so we are going to step forward, cha cha cha, forward, cha cha cha, okay? Forward, cha cha cha, forward, cha cha cha. Holding the weights in our hands like suitcases, okay? Good. Good. This is also active rest for the arms, okay? All right. We'll do one more each foot. All right, bring it back to center. We're gonna do a little, we're gonna do our bicep curls with the knee, okay? So it's a curl in the knee, curl in the knee. You got it. Standing nice and tall. Good. We'll do two more sets, okay? One more set. Perfect. Then we're going to go into those tricep kickbacks. We're going to do them a little different this time, though. We're going to do one arm, so right arm, left arm, both arms, okay? So hinge forward, elbows high, right arm, left arm, both, okay? Right, left. Both, right, left, and both, you got it, right, left, and both, right, left, both, let's do two more, right, left, both, one more, right, left, and both, stand up. We're going to do a little box step, okay? So I step forward, forward, slide together, back, back, slide together. Forward, forward, slide together, back, back, slide together. Forward, forward, slide, back, back, slide. Just tracing a little box on the floor with those feet. Good. And if you can't quite get it, just try and make a box the best you can. The most important thing is that you're moving. <laughs> I have a very strange shape of <laughs> That's fine. You're still moving. That's the most important part. <laughs> All right. We're going to make one more box, okay? Forward, forward, slide, back, back, slide. March it right here. All right, so we're gonna go through all of the weight moves that we did, then we'll take a little break. So we start with field goal post arms. Elbows coming together and out, squeezing the chest right here. And again, if marching is too much, you could just stand there and do the arms. All right, 
four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring the hands down. We're going to cross over and under. Over and under. Keep it going. You've got it. One more like this. Three, two, and one. Very good. Bring those arms by your side, okay? Shrug the shoulders down and up. Up and down. Good. Three more. Three, two, and one. Good. We're going to do curls with a knee, okay? So curl and knee, curl and knee. And remember, curl and tap is a good modification, good substitute. Got three more sets. Two. One. Finish this other side. Good. Triceps. So right, left, both. Okay. Hinge forward. Back nice and strong. Elbows high. Go right, left, both. Right, left, and both. You got it. Right, left, and both. Couple more. Left. Both. Keep it going. We have two more of these, okay? So you can hang in here with me. And then we get to put the weights down. This is the last one. Uh -oh. Do both of them. Good. Stand it up. Give me just a few little shoulder rolls right here. Okay? Then we're going to set the weights to the side. You can grab a drink of water if you'd like. The band will be our next piece of equipment. And we're actually going to start seated with the band, okay? So we can have a little sit. All right. So. We are going to do a move here that I want us all to be very careful with, okay? It is going to involve um, taking the band, and we're going to take it, I take mine over the top of my foot and then around the bottom, okay? So it's nice and snug, and it's not going to flip off of my shoe and hit me in the face. That's why I like to wrap it around, okay? And we're going to sit tall, and you can even lean against the back of your chair if you need the support. We're going to kick out and in. And if you don't have enough tension on the band, all you need to do is go lower, okay? Grab lower. All right? So we're doing a bit of a leg press in here with a band. Good. Bend and straighten. You've got it. Do a few more. Three, two, and one. Good. So then we have to take it to that other foot. So again, around the top of the shoe. Circle it around. Make sure it's nice and snug on there. Okay? Part of the workout is getting it around your shoe. <laughs> <laughs> We're testing your flexibility. We're testing your fine motor skills. <laughs> And again, make sure it's nice and tight because the last thing I want is for that band to come off of your foot and hit you in the face. So you can either lean against that shirt or sit nice and tall. We'll straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Good. You've got it. Three, four more. Three, two, and one, good. So then we get to take it off of the feet. We're gonna stand on the band now. We're, we're still gonna be seated. But our feet are gonna go on that band to kind of trap it between our feet and the floor. And then we'll cross that band for a little extra tension. We're gonna be doing a seated row, okay? So we'll sit nice and tall. 
We pull back, elbows going towards the chair, okay? Pull back. Sit nice and tall. It's a really good posture move. Good. Grow. Do four more like this, and then we're going to switch it up. Two. And one. All right, we're going to go right, left, then both. Both. Right. Left. Both. Good. Right. Left. Both. Keep it going. Both. Right. Left. Both. We'll do one more set. Right. Left. Both. Good. All right. I'm going to bring my hands closer to my knees, and you decide how much tension you want. The more tension you need, you can pull it higher. We can bring it lower. We're going to step out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Good. Out, out, in, in. You decide how big or small these steps are. But feel that resistance. You can work those inner and outer thighs. Ankles are helping too. Three more, three, a two, and one. All right, sit tall again for me. We're going to do some more rows, okay? Starting with both, both, going back, a good. The legs are probably grateful for a little break. Try and switch it up, make sure we don't burn out any one group. Two fast. Give me a four, three, a two, and one. Good. All right, so we're going to be standing up and we're going to be doing some squats. I'm going to be using my band with, for my squat. So you can stay in front of the chair or you can move to the side, but we just find a spot where we have kind of equal tension in here. And with this squat, again, if you don't want very much tension, let the arms all the way down. If you want a little bit of tension, bring it up to your hips, okay? We'll sit back and we'll stand up, okay? And I want you to really focus on keeping your chest raised, your back strong. Don't let that band fold you in half. Take your round forward, okay? Good. Couple more here. Two. And one, we're gonna come quarter of the way to halfway down, okay? And pulse right here, okay? Good. For three, two, and one. Stand it up. We're gonna bring that band out from underneath the feet, okay? We're gonna be doing a lat pull down. So with this move, I like to stick one hand through my handle just so my handle is not flapping around. And I'm gonna anchor up at the top with one hand. So my left hand is gonna be my anchor right now. And then I pull down the side. And if you feel like that was really easy, just bring that hand closer, okay? All right, so we bring it up and up. Down and up, good. Pulling down towards like the hip, good. Keep it going. For four, three, two, and one. Very good. So then we'll do the other side. So I bring this hand through that handle. This hand is going to hold up at the top. And now this hand will come. So find tension that works with the hand at the side. Okay? We ready? Anchor at the top and pull. Good. You've got it. Couple more. Four, three, a two, and one. Good. So I'm going to keep both my hands through my handles. I'm going to bring the band in front of me. I'm going to point out to the side. You can have bent arms or you can have straight arms. Straight arms is a little harder, okay, to decide what you'd like to do. We pull out and in. Out and in. Good. Just 
Wrapping that band nice and tight. Good. Four. Three. Keep the limits in your shoulders. Two. Yes. And one. Bring it down. Give me a little march. Right here. All right. So we're going to do some heels. I want to keep our band here in between our hands. We're going to make a little figure eight with it. Like we're doing a little dance with a cane. Okay? Good. You're all ready for Broadway. I want a hat. You want a hat? Hey. <laughs> um, a top hat. <laughs> I'm actually looking in the closet and I think I see a red sequin hat sitting on the shelf in there. So <laughs> all right. We're going to take our figure out, the figure eight, the other direction. So switch the direction. You probably chose the more natural feeling one to start with. So this might feel a little more awkward, but you can do it. All right. Give me two and one. Perfect. Bring your feet hip width apart again. We're going to do a different pull this time. We're going to pull to diagonal. So I come high and low, center. Other side, high and low, okay? Pull to this direction. You got it. Good. We'll do a couple more sets. Give me three. Two more sets. Two. One more set. All right. We're going to take the band back underneath the feet and do some more squats. If you feel more comfortable standing in front of your chair, you absolutely may go in front of your chair. Okay? All right. So. The band comes under both feet. You can decide if you want to add more tension by pulling up towards your hips, okay? Let's sit back, stand up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Sit back, stand up and squeeze. Good. You've got it. You guys are excellent squatters. <laughs> All right. I just got back from a week of wild camping. Yeah? <laughs> Center. Good. High and low. 
high and low. Good. I'm gonna do three more sets if you can hang in here with me. Two more. One more set. Come on, arms. All right, nice. Give me a little march here. Yes. So the good news is, is we're going to be done with our band time. <laughs> so you get to put the band to the side, and then we're going to be grabbing our final piece of equipment, which is what? Grab a drink if you'd like one. And I will say, so um, depending on what you've been doing for the last year, you know, this may be new stuff for you. Um, your body may be more tired than usual. Please listen to your body. Take easier modifications if you need to. Do what you need to do, okay? So, for example, for this next one, I'm going to have two options. One can be done standing and one can be done seated. So, standing, we're going to be taking vaulted knees. Same thing, seated, okay? Here, taking ball to knee, okay? So decide where you'd like to be. All comes overhead to the knee. Good. Perfect. So I always say in all of my classes, whether it's silver sneakers or high intensity interval training, do what your body needs to do today, because every day is different. And the important thing is that you're moving. All right, we'll do a couple more here. Three. I missed it. Two. <laughs> One. Watch it right here. All right. So, our next one, if you're standing with me, we're going to squat, ball to the corner, squat, ball to the corner. If you're seated, you're welcome. Does anybody stay seated? Okay. If you want to stay seated, all you do is you're here and feel yourself push into those heels, not heels, toes, there and there, okay? All right. So squat, corner, squat, corner. Good. I also feel like at the time to give ourselves a lot of grace, we're all kind of coming out of a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad year. <laughs> We've had a lot of different stresses. Maybe some of you have even had losses this last year. And that takes an emotional and a physical toll. All right. One more here. All right. Bring it center. So we're going to be doing a leg lift to the side. I'm going to take my ball out here. I'm going to lift. If you need to, this chair is here to help you balance, okay? You decide how high that leg goes, maybe it's even just a tap to the side, okay? Maybe you're not even lifting. Keep it going. I'm gonna cheat, see what we're doing next. Give me four, three, two, and one. Then we have to do the other side, okay? So ball comes to the outside of the thigh. Chair's there if you need it for balance. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And again, if the lift is too much, tap and in, okay? Every exercise can be modified to be harder or easier. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring these feet hip width apart. We're going to take the ball in our hands. And we're going to start with bent elbows. We're going to twist, center, twist, center. I'm pivoting through the opposite hip. Okay, you're welcome to do the same. But we're focusing on that rotation right now. All right, so you can keep these arms here with the bent arm, or you can straighten and straighten, okay? There we go. One side, and then the other. Good. You've got it. Feeling that rotation. 
Perfect. We'll do two more. Each side. So this is two. And then we have one more. One more. Good. All right. Give me a little march here. We're just going to practice taking the ball from one hand to the other, okay? So I'm going to take it up, center, up, center. Switching from one hand to the other. Good. And if you've been in one of my classes before, you know you get extra credit workout points if you have to chase your ball across the room. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I swear to you, it burns more calories. <laughs> All right, four, three, two, one more. Perfect. All right, bring this ball center. Take these feet out wider. Give me a tap and a tap. Good. Okay, so we're going to tap it out. We're going to do that same thing. Reach, center, reach, center, reach. Center, reach, center. Good. Find your own rhythm that works for you. Keeping the arms slow, but keeping the feet on tempo. Good. Keep it moving. That's the most important part. Three. Two. And laughter also is extra points. One. All right. March it again, turn right here. Perfect. Okay. Take the ball behind your back. Circle it around. Circle. Good. All right. Take it one more time around and then switch the direction. Other way. You've got it. Extra credit points, Yay. guys. <laughs> All right, take it one more time around. Bring it center, okay? We're going to do one more set of leg lifts, and then we get to sit down, okay? So if you need to come and grab the side of your chair, you can. Ball comes to the outside. And remember, you're either tapping or lifting, okay? Good. I like to keep a nice flexed foot. You decide how high you go. You decide whether you need that chair or not. Give me four, three, two, one. Walk it over. Do the other side, okay? Ball is here on the outer thigh. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Chairs there if you need it. Good. One more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Feet hip width apart. Ball in the hands. Let's rotate. Rotate, okay? Rotate and rotate. If you want, straighten those arms out. Make that a bigger arc, okay? Good. We'll do three more of these. Three, two, one. All right, you guys ready to sit down? Let's take this ball with us, okay? We're going to put the ball in between the thighs, so halfway between the knees and the hips, okay? And we're just going to squeeze in, in, okay? Squeeze right here. We just were working the legs outward with the leg lifts, and now we're working them the opposite direction, okay? Good. Just a little bit more. Give me four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. We're going to take this ball. And we are going to swim forward, bring it over to the side, forward, over to the side, okay? Just stretching out those shoulders a little bit. Good. Good. You got it. All right, we'll do two more. One more. All right, one final move. With the ball, put the ball right here again. This time, we are going to, I'm gonna grab the bottom of my chair and we're welcome the knees back if you need extra support. We're gonna straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. We use our core to keep us here, okay? 
Good. If you heard Tuesday, we did this Tuesday too. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. All right, so we're going to take the ball, we're going to put it behind us, okay? And what I want you to do with it is to just feel like, if you've ever foam rollered before or done any sort of massage with a ball, we're just going to kind of find places on the back where you, this feels good. You can move it up and down. If maybe you've got a nice, good knot in the shoulder blade and you're going to really try and work into it, okay? We're doing our funny little chair dances right now, okay? <laughs> Modifies love this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't advertise that. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. I tell you, that shocked not only the kids, but the 
Memorial Day plans, whether that's visiting cemeteries or having barbecues. No? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can come to my house for a barbecue. <laughs> the weather's supposed to be awful. It's true. <laughs> Bring the feet out. We're going to cross this ankle up here. Hand on ankle thigh, well, ankle knee, and hinge forward. So you can tell the difference. One side is always harder. It's true. It is common to have one side of your body be tighter than the other one. Running is my favorite type of exercise. It is the thing that brings me the most joy out of all of the types of exercise. And because of that, I have to make sure I stretch my hips a lot because you're moving in that one point of motion over and over and over and over and over again. So this is one of my favorite stretches. <laughs> All right, let's sit it up next. Okay. I'm going to bring my foot down, and then I'm gently going to bring the leg over, just so that this foot is elevated. I'm going to circle the ankle. And then we're going to circle the other way. Good. And then we're going to point and flex, okay? So point and flex. Point and flex. Good. One more. Let's do that other side. So bring this leg down, bring this leg up and over. Once you're there, circle and circle. Circle the other way. Let's point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Good. All right, one more. Bring these feet back out. We're gonna do a seated cat cat. So our hands are on our thighs. And then turn to the side just so you can kind of see this. Hands are on our thighs. So we round forward and then we raise the chest up. So we're trying to get a stretch to the back, okay? Rounding one way and reaching the other way. And if it feels really good to just lean into one for a couple seconds, feel free to do that. You know, really sink into it. Give me one more. All right, set it up. All right, we're gonna do a little breathing and chest opening stretch here to kind of round it out. So we're gonna bring our hands together, pressing the palms together, and kind of pressing down a little bit. And as you press down, you should feel a little stretch to those wrists, okay? So we're gonna inhale our arms up over our head. We're gonna exhale, pull the elbows down and out. Inhale up. And exhale our hands back to center. We'll do that a few times. Inhale up. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale up. Exhale back to center. Let's do this two more times. Inhale up. Exhale, open. Inhale up. Exhale back to center. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, open. Inhale up. Exhale, back to center. All right. Thanks for being here today, guys. I appreciate it. You guys had a fabulous weekend, no matter the rain. <laughs> and I'll probably see some of you next week on Tuesday. Yes. Have a great weekend. And you can just leave your